Well, there's a young boy in Fishers that now is the first child in the state of Indiana to receive a newly approved drug, which works to delay the onset of type 1 diabetes. While it is not a cure, it is a big breakthrough, and it's decades in the making. Like most nine-year-olds, Colin will perk up when you ask about sports. When explaining diabetes, he has a lot fewer words. It's like when your pancreas start, stops working. Fortunately, however, understanding more than that right now is up to his parents. They know the worry and responsibility that comes with a type 1 diabetes diagnosis. Two of their daughters have it, and a blood test revealed that Colin was at risk. So he's in what's called stage two. There's three stages of type 1 diabetes. Stage one is that you have some of the positive autoantibody markers, which Colin did. Then stage two is you start having elevated sugars. Colin also has elevated sugars. But he's not dependent on insulin, so it's the perfect window for qualifying to take the newly FDA-approved drug called teplizumab, or t -Zield. It's an antibody which delays the onset of type 1 diabetes. Colin recently became the first pediatric patient in Indiana to receive the therapy. It has been shown to delay the onset by three to five years in some cases, and so my hope is that we can go as long as possible without him needing to think about insulin without the family needing to think about diabetes every second of every day. It was delivered through an IV over 14 consecutive days at IU Health. The two-week infusion was very costly. It was around $200,000. Our insurance fortunately covered it. Now Colin wears a continuous glucose monitor and mom says his sugars are stable. It's not a cure, it's not prevention, but to, to buy those families three to five years, even a year, two years, without that burden of managing type 1 diabetes, I think is a gift. I feel good about buying some time. That's really the, that's really the bottom line here is buying time. It's time where Colin can concentrate on making a basket, while his parents hope to score as research advancements keep coming. t is approved now for adults and children who are eight and older who currently have stage two type one diabetes. Now IU Health is really celebrating this. They participated in the clinical trial and right now happens to be the only Indiana provider that is offering t as a pre as a treatment.